Hi, it's Joe Talentino, and welcome to our new weekly podcast series. This show is about having fun, and that's something I know a little bit about. In this podcast series, I will talk about upcoming festivals and events, art happenings, interview interesting people, and much, much more. We focus on the East Coast of the United States, and right now we're including events from Myrtle Beach to Daytona Beach. But we have plans for expansion, and every now and again, we're going to venture out. This time, I'm focusing on Labor Day weekend. Traditionally, this is a time of year that's a little bit sad. The kids return to school, first graders enthusiastically, and high school seniors like my son Max, much more reluctantly. Those of us who live on the coast can continue going to the beach because here, summer's far from over. For a real Labor Day beach event, head to Myrtle Beach where the Beach Boogie Barbecue Festival takes place in Grand Park at Market Common on September 4th through 5th. Nothing says summer more than great barbecue and live music on the beach, and this festival has it all. In Charleston, the weekend is filled with music. The Low Country Jazz Festival goes on all weekend long from September 3rd through the 5th. This is the second year for the music festival, which brings together local and international artists with performances taking place at various venues, including the North Charleston Performing Arts Center. One of my favorite bands, Spyro Gyra, is performing. There's even more music at Boone Hall Plantation on Sunday, September 5th, when Boone Hall puts on a popular barbecue and blues festival. In Savannah, Georgia, Labor Day weekend is all about beer. It's the third year for the popular Savannah Craft and Brew Fest. The event starts with a craft and brew food pairing event on Friday, and the grand tasting with 130 kinds of brew happens on Saturday at the Savannah International Trade and Convention Center. For more food, head south to Kingsland, Georgia. Here you'll find one of the biggest events of the year. It's the Labor Day Kingsland Catfish Festival with parades, vendors, arts and crafts, music, and tons of Southern style catfish. In Florida, one of the biggest happenings is the American Music Festival in Daytona Beach. This event brings back the good old days of the band shell at the beach, but the festival involves other venues in Daytona as well. They have an interesting mix of music and an impressive lineup for Labor Day, including young superstars such as the Jonas Brothers, Usher, and stretching to the more mature artists such as Huey Lewis and the News and Tony Bennett. Those guys always seem to be right there in the mix. And everywhere I go, Huey Lewis and the News seem to be there. Weird. In any case, that concludes the show for this week. For more details about the events and for more things to do on the coast, visit everyone's favorite website at coastalcompanion.com. I'll be back next week to talk about more fun things happening on the coast. See you then.